in peace may be multiplied unto you this is apostle ellie and i just want to take a moment of time to do a teaching and give a word of revelation on a biblical name that we find that is not only used in scripture but we find it also used uh in our western world culture and the name that i'm referring to is mark uh the name mark what is uh the meaning of the name Mark and what are some of the backgrounds that are associated with it. And, and in it, as I say that, I want to bring to your attention um, about three different variations of this name. And first of all, um, the first one I want to bring to your attention is the name Mark has uh, ancient Latin origin for one aspect. And that aspect deals with the uh, Greeks and the Romans. And what's interesting is it is pronounced Markos. M-A-R-T-K-O-S, Marcos. So it's a common name uh, for the Greeks and the Roman. And what's interesting in their use of this name, uh, the background and its meaning is consecrated to the God of Mars. Now, in that, of course, for those that know a little bit about uh, the pagan God or the pantheon God beliefs that were of the culture of the Greeks and the Romans, the Romans identified uh, the different deities by planets and uh, the Greeks identified them with specific names. So notice that I mentioned the name Mark or Markos in uh, Greek and Roman culture of meaning means one who is consecrated to the God of Mars and Mars is the Roman identification for the Greek god Ares, which in the same turn, the name also means god of war or warlike, uh, according to their cultural beliefs. Now, when we begin to look at the terminology uh, in the Greek associated with uh, biblical concept of meaning of name, the word Mark or Marcos means a defense or to defend. And what, what I'm referring to, to give you a greater level of revelation regarding that, at least from our spiritual belief and understanding of his name in Greek, uh, it, it uh, yokes itself when we say a defense, uh, it's foundation in the term apologia, which is the Greek word for apology or apologetics. So then now we begin to draw uh, the understanding that the name Mark or Marcos in Greek when it comes to spiritual meaning, especially in spiritual character, it associates with one who advocates, one who pleads, i.e. you also have uh, the Greek word um, mina, which means one who pleads or one who is a champion or one who defends. So now we can understand that Marcos, which is the Greek word for Mark, when we look at it from the spiritual perspective, is one who, who stands in defense of others or pleads on behalf of others. Uh, when we look at it from the Hebraic dialect, because technically the name does uh, have a Hebrew background as well, uh, the name means to be polite. It means also to be the shining or the shining one. And when I say shining one, it implies one who has been illuminated or one who has revelation or comes into a place of enlightenment or understanding. So when we when we understand this and we look at the, the cultural backgrounds that are associated with this one particular name, Mark, we can begin to extrapolate uh, some of the characteristic that is associated with it. So, so in that, that tells us as believers, the character of a Mark is one who not only comes into enlightenment, but yet it is also one who strives for, for justice or advocating on behalf of or pleading on behalf of one or on behalf of others. Uh, so in that, um, those are some of the significant things that are associated. And there's one other thing I'd like to bring to your attention. When it comes to Mark in the New Testament, it was primarily a surname. Uh, for those who may not be familiar, when you talk about surname uh, in the Hebrew, it is kana, and in the Greek is epithemi, um, anoma, epithemi, anoma, 
which means uh, an active voice of a name or an identity of honor or flattery that is placed upon an individual. What that really says to us in layman's terms, however, it is what we would consider in the Western world the last name of a person that gives them family identity. Because when you know anything about the Hebraic culture, some of the ancient cultures, uh, uh, they were usually identified as the individual's name of identity, and then they were called son of whomever. Like, for instance, in the scriptures, it says Bar Jesus. Uh, uh, Simon Bar Jesus, which means Simon, the son of Jesus. This uh, was mostly the identification of individuals, but now when we understand the cultural, when the scripture talks about surnames that are given, then it means that now there is a last name that is associated with the family, and that last name is the name of honor that is associated with the individual. So when they have a surname, then it speaks to the character of the family once again because it's something that is being perpetuated uh, by those who are brought in or born into that particular family. So once again, as we see John Mark, uh, John is the name, but Mark is the surname or the identity or the last name that associates itself with the honor of the family that one is connected to. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention in this specific teaching regarding the name of Mark, and hopefully it blesses you in a mighty way so you can understand as we continue to identify individuals, not only by name, but also by character, especially as we continue in our divine destiny towards the Lord God through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, 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 and blessings be unto you.